Today we are going to review how to update your iOS device, such as an iPhone, iPad, or iPod, to Apple's newest mobile operating system, iOS 8, using iTunes. If you haven't tried to update your iOS device yet, you may be wondering why you would use iTunes, rather than just doing it wirelessly on the device itself. As shown here, you may need over 5.5 gigabytes of space on your device to update to iOS 8 wirelessly. Freeing up that much space on a 16 gigabyte iPhone, for example, can be very difficult. Fortunately, performing the software update through iTunes only requires just over 1 gigabyte of space on your device. iOS 8 boasts new features such as finding photos more quickly, the ability to send and receive voice messages in addition to standard text messages, and apps purchased on one account can now be shared with other family members. For information about all the new features of iOS 8, visit apple.com. Keep in mind that older devices may not work. Shown here is a list of the iOS devices that can be upgraded to iOS 8. In addition to your iOS device, you will need a computer with iTunes installed and the USB cable that came with your device to connect it to the computer. Let's go ahead and begin the iOS update. First, plug your device into your computer. For this video, I will be using an iPad, but the process is the same for iPhones and iPods. After several seconds, the computer should recognize the connection. If you plugged your device into a new computer, you may have to wait for a device driver to install. Otherwise, after a bit of a wait, iTunes should open and show the connection to your iOS device. Note that if you're using the sidebar feature in iTunes, your device will appear on the left. If your device does not appear, try unplugging it, wait about 5 seconds, then plug it in again, preferably into a different USB port. Again, if you've connected your device to a new computer, a few pop-ups will appear asking if you want to allow access to your device. If this appears, click Continue on your computer, then click Trust on your iOS device. Otherwise, a pop-up should appear showing that iOS 8 is available for download. Click Download and Update to continue. If another message appears stating that there are purchased items on your device that have not been transferred to your iTunes library, click Cancel. Since we were shown this message, we're going to back up the device first before performing the iOS update. This will ensure that all items on the device are properly synced with the iTunes library. To do this, click the button in the upper right that shows your device or on the sidebar on the left. Next, click Back Up Now on the screen that follows. As shown with this pop-up window, we will select Backup Apps so that they are all transferred to iTunes and can then be restored if needed. The backup, or sync, will begin, as shown at the top of the screen. The backup can take several minutes, so let's go ahead and skip to the end of the backup process. Once the backup is complete, the Apple logo will appear by itself at the top of the screen, and we can now safely perform the software update to iOS 8. Click the Update button, then click Update in the pop-up window to begin. In this instance, I'm updating from iOS 8 to iOS 8.0.2, but it's the same process as updating from iOS 7 to iOS 8. Take note of the update number because we may need to remember it for later. An iPad software update window will appear to show you what is included in the update. Note that iPad might be replaced with iPhone or iPod depending on your device. Click Next to continue. Click Agree to get past the license agreement and begin the update. If your device is protected by a passcode and is locked, you will need to enter it now on the device. Once that is done, you shouldn't need to click Continue. The process should continue on its own. Once again, there is a bit of a wait while the update downloads and installs. Let's jump ahead a bit to the important parts of the update. After several minutes, the download finishes and the installation begins. On your device, the Apple logo will appear. If your device shows the graphic that it needs to be connected to iTunes, 
go ahead and wait for a bit. iTunes will say waiting for iPad or whatever type of device you're updating. You may have to wait several minutes before the install process continues. Eventually, the Apple logo will reappear on your device and the update will continue. After a bit, a progress bar will appear on your device while the update finishes and verifies the installation. Once the software update is complete, a message will appear telling you that your device will restart and should remain connected. Click OK or wait a few seconds to continue. Your device will now restart and complete the update. Hopefully you remember to take note of the update number because towards the end of the process, iTunes sometimes gets a little confused and asks if you want to perform the same update. If this is the case, as it is here, click Later. Your device may decide to perform another sync with iTunes to create a backup with the new iOS. If this occurs, then your device will be ready to go when the sync is complete. In this video, we covered the installation of iOS 8 on an Apple device using iTunes. While several contingencies were covered in this video, it's difficult to foresee or cover all of them. Hopefully this video provides enough information to help you successfully update your device. The show notes for this video are available by clicking the link below the video. Please help to support HelpfulVideoTips.com by subscribing to this YouTube channel and visiting HelpfulVideoTips.com to follow along on social media. I'm Tom Sutton. Thank you for watching.